Hello everybody and welcome back to another Star Citizen video. I am Aerodox and this video is for all the new players who are ready to get out and start completing contracts. Our aim here with this little series of videos is to help all the new players learn how to fly their ships and complete every type of mission out there currently in Star Citizen 3.17.1. This video specifically will help new players learn all the very basics of flying their ships so that they can get out and start experiencing everything the verse has to offer. Without further ado, let's roll the intro and hop into our cockpits. Alright, so we've just woken up and we're ready to get out and start earning some money. There's just one problem. We don't know how to get to our ship, and even if we did, we don't know how to fly it. Well, not to worry, this is something we can easily rectify, but the first things first, we need to get to our ship. Now, for the intent of this video, we are starting at New Babbage on Microtech, and your starting location may be different depending on what residence you chose when you logged in for the first time. However, the process is going to be largely the same, although the specific route you take may vary. First, we are going to get out of bed here and leave our apartment, and we do that by holding F and moving our mouse over here and clicking the left mouse button on Get Out. Next, we are going to navigate all the way over here to our apartment door, and again, we are going to hold F and we are going to click on the open door panel. Next, we are going to start walking over to the elevator door. Now we are going to hold F again and we are going to click the call elevator button. After a few moments the elevator will arrive, the doors will open and we will step inside. Over here in the corner of the elevator you'll find a small panel with all of the floors labeled but the one we are interested in is the lobby and we are going to click that one. After a few moments, the elevator doors will open up and we will be looking at the Aspire Lobby. As we make our way out here into the open area, we're also going to notice a few signs. What we're looking for is the Metro sign. We are going to head down this staircase, turn the corner, and head down this staircase as well, where we're going to come up to a couple more signs, Starport and the Commons. We're going to hang a left here and head on over to our terminal observing the signs and right about here is where we can notice a few key things. The train is arriving in 27 seconds. Now this is going to be a common thing no matter where you go. Sometimes the trains are going to show up right as you show up. Sometimes they're going to be heading out right as you show up and sometimes you're going to have to wait. So after a few seconds here the train shows up, the doors open and we are going to step inside and then after a few more seconds the doors are going to close and we are going to head off towards our next destination which is New Babbage Interstellar Spaceport. Rather than make you watch that, we are just going to cut right to the point where the train stops and we get off. And after a short train ride, we find ourselves at our next destination. As you can see, we are at New Babbage Interstellar Spaceport. Now, off to the right is a dead end, but off to the left, we are going to find the exit. So we're going to make our way over here, turn another left, and find ourselves at the elevators. And we're going to walk up to any one of the elevators. We're going to call the elevator, take a couple steps back, and wait for it to arrive. Once it does arrive, we are going to go ahead and step inside, turn to the panel, and click on NBIS Terminal, where after another few seconds, the doors will open and we will be at our final destination. Once outside the elevators, we will find ourselves walking through customs. There are a bunch of security guys everywhere, and none of this stuff really means much to us right now. It may later on. By the way, if your character is moving slowly at this point, you can scroll up on the mouse wheel or down on the mouse wheel to either increase or decrease your character's speed. All right, and here we are at New Babbage Interstellar Spaceport. You can see over there is a ship rental space, but what we're looking for are the fleet manager panels. 
we are going to walk up to them, hold F, and click on the screen where we're going to see a list of all of our currently available ships. What we're looking for is the retrieve button right there. As you can see, I've clicked on the Avenger Titan, and it is going to show us what hangar we need to go to, and that is going to be hangar 4. Now, we are going to turn to our left, head on over to the elevator, make an elevator call, and wait patiently for the elevator doors to open. Once they do open, we are going to turn over to the panel here, we are going to find and select Hangar 4, and then after a few more moments of waiting, we can congratulate ourselves because we have finally arrived for the first time at our ship. After we take a few moments to look around the hangar and enjoy our ship in all of its splendor, it is time to hop inside. Now there are two ways to get inside the Avenger, but we are going to use the back ramp here. We're going to walk up to it, we're going to hold F, and we are going to click on open door, and then we're going to step inside, admiring our large open space. We are going to turn around, close our door, wait for that to close, and then head on over to the cockpit. We are going to hold F, and we're going to enter the pilot seat. We are just about ready for a flight, but we have to do a couple of things first. Now, my ship was already on. Yours will probably not be. At this point, you can either hold R, or you can look around for the power on and off button. I just turned mine off there, and as you can see, I'm going to turn it back on now. Now, at this point, we're in our ship. We're ready to fly, but the doors haven't opened. We can't go anywhere, so what we need to do is we need to navigate down to this panel, scroll on our mouse wheel to zoom in, find the comms panel, and then we're going to look for NB Int Spaceport. We're going to click on the call sign there, and then after a few moments, they are going to say we are cleared for takeoff. The doors will open, and we will be on our way. Now, at this point, we need to get off of the landing pad floor. We are going to hold spacebar until we generally pick up, and then we are going to hit the N key on our keyboard. This is going to retract our landing gear, and when the doors are open just a little bit more for safety, we are going to press the W key and begin moving our way out of the station. After we travel just a short distance away from the station, we are going to start angling our ship upward. Now, we're not moving very quickly, and what we can do about that is we can scroll the mouse wheel up. If we scroll the mouse wheel up, we increase our thrust, and if we scroll the mouse wheel down, we decrease our thrust. There's also another thing that we can do here. Instead of holding W the entire way out of the atmosphere, we can activate cruise control, and we do that by clicking C. Now, if we want to make our way off of the ground even faster, we can hold down shift and activate our boosters. You can see that there on the left side of our screen. And on Microtech, we need to be at least 15,000 meters above the ground in order to activate our quantum drive. But we don't need to worry about that quite yet. Now that we've made it 15,000 meters off of the ground, we can begin scrolling back on our mouse wheel, which will decrease our thrust, and then we can actually hit the C button, and we can slow our momentum altogether until we've come to a complete stop, and then we can congratulate ourselves because we have successfully made it out of the spaceport and into space. A couple of things to note here is that if you are traveling too quickly in your ship and you try to rapidly orient your ship in another direction or you try to slow down too quickly, you can actually cause your character to black out and even die in some cases. So be sure to watch your velocity and slow down where needed. Another tip for you is that if you find yourself flying in an area that you just can't see anything in, you can press the tab key and you can send out a scan wave. And the scan wave has lots of uses, but one thing I like to use it for is for seeing the objects around me. All right, now we're going to press F2 and we're going to open up our star map. This is the local system we're in right now. We're going to double click on Microtech and then we are going to observe the system. Notice this is where we are and we're going to scroll all the way in until we can see all these areas that are named and we're looking for Port Tressler. It's directly above New Babbage. What we can do from here is we can click on it and then we can click set route. Over here you can see your current fuel and the required fuel. It's not very far away so we don't need to use much fuel. Now you'll notice at the top of the screen there is a blue arrow indicating where our destination is. 
once we've lined up with our destination, we don't really get a whole lot of information. Now it's entirely possible that we could just speed up and manually fly there the whole way, but that's not very efficient. What we're going to do here is we're going to press B and activate our quantum drive. Our quantum drive is going to spool up and once it has calibrated and once spooling has completed, we can hold down the B button and we can travel there much faster. All right, now that we're here, we can turn off our quantum drive by tapping B again, and we can send out a couple of pulse waves just because it's dark where we are, and we can get a sense of how far away from the station we are. We can speed up by scrolling up and pressing the C button to cruise and coast our way in. And from here, we're just going to continue to hit the tab button and send out scan pulses so we can get a sense of where we are. And we're going to continue to make our way closer and closer until eventually we are going to be within range of the comm system, at which point we are going to slow down. Now that we have slowed down, we are going to navigate over to this panel and we are going to look for the words Port Tressler and we are going to click the call button. After a few moments, it will hopefully give us a landing bay. Bay. Now that it has given us a landing bay, you can see our spot up there in the right hand corner with a check mark in it. We are going to slowly speed up and continue making our way over to the station. You can hit the L button to activate your flashlights just in case you can't see anything directly in front of you. And as we get closer and closer to the station, we notice that we are facing the wrong way up. And there is a really easy way to fix this. We can hit C to come off of cruise control and we can press Q or E to rotate our ship into the right position. Once we've done that, we can then go and use the W, S, A, and D keys to get ourselves into an even better position to begin landing. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my lights here, and then I'm going to gain a little bit of altitude, and I'm going to slowly make my way over the landing pad, and when I'm close enough, I'm going to hit the N key to deploy my landing gear once again, and then slowly make my way down onto the pad until I've made contact. Once we have touched down, we are going to get a communication from the station that says landing complete, have a nice day, and from there on we are good to exit the ship. You can easily exit your ship by holding down the Y key, and then I'm going to make my way out of the ship and into the station. Now every pad has one of these doors that we are going to see right up here on our left and all we need to do is head on up here and we're going to see an elevator once we get into the elevators we are going to call it and then we are going to step inside once it arrives and click the lobby button after just a few moments we are going to find ourselves inside of Port Tressler. Now what we're going to do is we're going to contact the fleet manager panel and then we are going to store our ship and we do that by finding our ship in the list and then clicking the store button. After a few moments of clicking the store button, you'll see that the ship is available to retrieve once again, meaning you have successfully stored your ship and you are cleared to go about your business. And last but not least, we're going to quickly touch on how to repair, refuel, and restock your ship. And it's super easy. All we do is we click F1 when we are inside the cockpit and we are going to see the vehicle maintenance services down here at the bottom. We're going to click it and we're going to see all of various options for repairing, restocking, refueling quantum and refueling hydrogen. All you have to do is click into the boxes as long as they aren't red and you'll be well on your way to your next adventure. Now keep in mind there is a bug currently in Star Citizen where you're going to land your ship, you're going to go into the vehicle maintenance tab, and then you're going to see all these no service required labels, even though you know that you need to repair, restock, or refuel your ship. And there's not a whole lot that can be done about it right now. I have had some luck with repeatedly trying to land over and over and over again. Sometimes it works, most of the time it doesn't. There just really isn't a whole lot we can do about it right now. 
So now you can pat yourself on the back. You've made it from New Babbage to Port Tressler. And from here on out, flying is just going to get easier and easier for you. Now that you know the basics, you should be capable of flying just about anywhere you please. Now just a couple of things to keep in mind. Sometimes it's not going to be as easy as it was in this video. Sometimes you're going to run across bugs. Sometimes you're going to request a landing pad and it's not going to give you one. Sometimes you're going to request a landing pad and it's not going to show you where you need to go. And occasionally, sometimes at random, unfortunately, you're just going to randomly blow up. That is currently the state of Star Citizen and there's not really a whole lot we can do about it besides report the issues and wait for the devs to fix it. But I think that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Hopefully it answers some questions that you guys may have had. Please be on the lookout for our next videos where we're going to talk about how to do every single type of contract mission there is in the game. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We super appreciate it, you guys. With all that being said, we hope to see you guys out in the verse soon. And don't forget to bring your med pens. Peace.